officers here are doing for extra protection. Hi, Susanna. Hey, good morning, Marissa and Aaron. Chicago police say there is no current or credible threat in this city, but they've encouraged officers to work in pairs for safety reasons. Now, I just spoke with former police superintendent Gary McCarthy, who had another perspective. Do they need new training at this point, or is it something to go back and review? You know, Susanna, I think we're looking at this in the wrong fashion. The question is, what are we doing about the people who are involved in facilitating that type of behavior? And I've got to tell you, there's plenty of accountability to go around. I'm not hearing the word accountability anymore. Does it exist, or is it only for the police? There's a culture of noncompliance with the law that is now in vogue in this country. And it's being facilitated by the political environment that we're in. It's being facilitated by elected officials and community activists who actively encourage people disobedience with the law and the police in general. McCarthy, who was fired late last year, says there is no way to prevent an ambush like we've seen in Dallas and Baton Rouge, but Chicago police, from his experience, can focus on tactics. He also says it's time for protesters and police to start a dialogue. There are also safer ways of policing. He agrees with the Fraternal Order of Police who want to ban one-man patrol cars, outdoor roll call, and fixed posts. This makes them easy targets. McCarthy describes what it's been like watching the crises unfold. It's been difficult any time I've heard it in my police career, but what's more difficult for me is the fact that I'm on the sidelines watching what's happening during the worst crisis in my chosen profession in the 35 years that I've been around it. That's worse for me, watching it and not being able to do anything about it. Police officers certainly feeling on edge, some even expressing that their goal every day after work is to go home and be with their families. For now, we are live in the loop. Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Marissa and Aaron. All right, Susanna, thank you.